If you've been following my recent videos, I've demonstrated how you can create a free blog on Wix and how if you want to turn that website into a business, you can sign up to a plan with Wix and have your own domain name. But now I want to discuss how to make money from your blog on Wix, which in truth is no different to making money blogging on any platform, whether that be Squarespace or WordPress. And the good thing about making money from blogging is, it that, is that it's one of the cheapest methods to get up and running. It doesn't require any monthly payments to Amazon or eBay for the privilege of selling on their sites, and it doesn't require advertising on Facebook. In fact, the entry costs are so low, there's really no reason other than time that should prevent you from having a go. Ultimately, there are three ways you can make money from blogging. Advertising revenue, affiliate sales, and selling your own info products. And if you become a household name, you can potentially sell merchandise too. Advertising revenue is by far the easiest form of revenue to make. From the outset, you can apply to Google's AdSense program and Google will pay you a small amount of money in return for having their ads on your site. After your website receives roughly 50,000 sessions per month, a session is basically website speak for a single visit to your site, you can apply to advertising agencies like Mediavine, who will pay you significantly more to run ads on your blog than Google AdSense does. Mediavine will also work with you personally regarding the placement of your ads, whereas Google AdSense is automated or self-managed and as such can tend to look a bit more spammy. Whilst the amount of money you make ultimately depends on the number of sessions your website receives per month, it can also depend on the type of niche or niche that you're in. For example, if you're blogging about finance related products, say the best credit card deals that are available, you're more likely to attract adverts by companies in the financial sector. These guys will generally pay a lot more for ads than say the travel and tourism sector. To give you an idea of the actual dollar amount you can make running ads, have a look at these results from the guys at Income School. Income School teaches the likes of you and me how to make money from blogging and from YouTube. I was signed up with them for three years and I highly recommend their courses. You see, the guys from Income School, they don't just talk the talk. To test and teach the latest methods for making money online, they are constantly creating their own new blog sites, and then they later sell them off once they're finished testing. So for example, one of their sites in Bora Pets was receiving 124,000 page views per month, which equated to $20,000 a month in advertising revenue. They then went on to sell that site for $60,000. Similarly, Outdoor Troop was receiving 80,000 page views per month and was making $1,563 per month when they sold it. But by far their most successful site was Camper Report, which was earning a whopping $8,684 a month from 300,000 page views. So you see that running ads on your blog can be very lucrative. And if you're interested in seeing the page views or sessions of other sites that you may be interested in, you can type the URL address into similarweb.com and you'll be able to see their traffic results for the last three months. You can check your own site's sessions in Wix by going to your dashboard, clicking on analytics and reports and viewing your traffic overview. To give your articles the best possible chance of ranking in Google search results and to give your site the best chance of being approved by Google's AdSense program, I recommend following the steps in the Get Found on Google section of your dashboard. If you're following Wix's site builder steps, you'll see the link on the home page after signing up to a Wix plan. Alternatively, you can access the same thing by clicking on Marketing and SEO and choosing Let's Go. Click Get Started and Wix will take you through a wizard to ascertain the nature of your site and business. You'll need to provide the name of your site or business, tell Wix whether you serve a local community or whether you're just an online presence, and finally add a few keywords or phrases that describe the nature of your business. This is all really a bit of fluff before getting to the main point of the exercise, which is this checklist of ways to optimize your site for ranking in search engines. I recommend completing each of the steps so that they're all green, and then you can sign up to Google's Search Console, which will provide you with details about how your articles are ranking in Google. 
You can also sign up for Google Analytics by clicking on Marketing and SEO, followed by Marketing Integrations. However, as a blogger, I find Google Search Console more useful than Google Analytics. The difference between the two is that the Search Console shows you how each of your articles are ranking and suggests measures to improve those rankings, whereas Google Analytics gives you more of a holistic picture of your traffic from all sources, whether that be marketing campaigns, social media, or search engines. Having followed the checklist and signed up to your preferred Google tools, you're now in a good position to apply for Google's AdSense program, which you can do from the same screen as Google Analytics. Under Google Ads, click on Connect and follow the instructions provided in the steps. Using the link will take you to the Google AdSense startup page. If it doesn't, simply Google Google AdSense and click Get Started. Enter all your details and follow the steps. Switching back to Wix, you don't need to worry about setting up conversion tracking since you're running a blog, not an online store. Once approved to Google AdSense, you'll receive a global site tag identification number as shown here in step two. Then it's a straightforward matter of copying this ID number, clicking on connect to Google Ads and pasting the number in the box provided. Switching back to Google AdSense, you can then choose to manage each ad placement yourself or have Google do it for you. Of course, as mentioned at the start of this video, ads are not the only way of making money from your blog. A more lucrative approach can be to affiliate yourself with a company and recommend their products in return for a percentage of each sale that you facilitate. You do this by signing up as an affiliate to a company who in return provides you with URL links that you then add to your site promoting or advertising their products. Links can be text or image based and they will include your unique affiliate ID so that the company knows to reimburse you when a transaction is initiated using your links. Adding links to your blog in Wix couldn't be easier. To demonstrate, I want to add a couple of affiliate links to a post that I've been writing on screen recorders. I've recently been approved as an affiliate for TechSmith who make apps such as Camtasia and Snagit. And here are some of the links available to me on TechSmith's affiliate platform. Let's start by adding a basic text link and then we'll add an image. I'll click on get code followed by copy code. Now if I switch back to Wix, open my draft post and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, here is the sentence I wish to create into a link. Highlight the text, click on the link icon in the menu and paste your link address into the space provided. Since this is a sponsored link, I'll tick the box to make Google aware so they don't penalize me for being spammy. And then I'll click save. To make the link stand out, I'll bold it and change the color. And there we are, my first affiliate link. If you prefer, you could use the same link on a button. On a new line, click on the plus icon and add an element. Choose button and click on the settings wheel icon to customize it. Rename it to something more descriptive and again paste your link URL into the box provided. Again, tick the box to notify Google it's a sponsored link. And actually, before I hit save, I'll just adjust the design slightly by rounding the corners. It's not great, but you get the idea. Finally, we'll run through also adding an image as a link. I'll switch back over to my affiliate account and this time get the HTML code for the banner image. Back in Wix, again, I'll click on the plus icon to add an element and I want to add HTML code. Paste your code in the space provided and make a note of the height and width of the image. Click save and then you can adjust the width and height to match that of the image like so. And there we have it. I'll move my button up slightly, and then if I save and publish the article, we can test to see that all the links work. So here is my live post, and now when I click on a link, you can see that it redirects to Snagit. Perfect. The biggest affiliate program, or perhaps the most well-known, is Amazon Associates. You will have no doubt come across plenty of their links when reading articles on the web. Another affiliate platform is Commission Junction, who manages the affiliate programs of many online businesses. Similar to Amazon, you simply create an account with Commission Junction and then lodge an application with the company you wish to be affiliated with. 
Finally, some companies like to manage their own affiliate programs, such as TechSmith, whose links I just added to my blog post. Direct partnerships like these often offer better returns since you're not going through a third party like Commission Junction. A different approach to affiliate marketing is to have people sign up to an email list and then to link to affiliate products within your emails. This approach is referred to as email marketing and is often more profitable than simply adding links to your articles because having subscribed to your email list, your subscribers are clearly interested in your opinion and therefore more likely to buy something that you recommend. For this, you'll need to sign up to an email marketing provider and I use Sendinblue because they offer an excellent entry level free tier to get people like you and I up and running. Having created a subscription form in Sendinblue, you can add it to your Wix post by using the same HTML element that we use to add our banner image link. So here we are in my Sendinblue account where I've created a very simple subscription form just for this demonstration. Having copied the code, again, I'll click on the plus icon in Wix, choose HTML and then paste my code into the box provided. And there we are. Now, obviously, this subscription box does look pretty rubbish and I'm sure you'll be able to create something far more appealing, but hopefully it demonstrates the connection between your website and your email marketing solution. Now, obviously, it's highly unlikely anyone's going to sign into this opt-in form when I'm not actually offering anything. And this is where the third and final approach to making money through blogging comes in, and that is to offer info products. Most, on, most online marketers will agree that for someone to subscribe to your email list, you must first offer them something useful. In most cases, this will take the form of an ebook or an online course, which is an info product. In my case, I offer my subscribers a free 10 part course, walking them through exactly how to get started on YouTube. Once a subscriber has taken up your free offer, you may also decide to offer them one of your paid info products at a one-time discount as part of the sign-up process, a technique which is known as upselling. Or alternatively, you may just opt to email them links to your products in the same way that you would for affiliate products. And of course, you can have a shop for all of your info products on your website like this site does called Succulents and Sunshine. The author of this website is yet another student from income school who managed to turn her blog into a $100,000 a year business by using the three techniques that we've discussed in this video. Of course, selling info products on your website or through your email marketing campaigns requires payment processing. And for that, you'll need to upgrade to one of Wix's business and e-commerce plans. To create ebooks, I recently purchased a lifetime subscription to designer.io, but I must admit, I've only just started playing around with this web-based platform, but it seems intuitive and straightforward enough to create great looking ebooks. For video courses, I highly recommend hosting your videos on YouTube, but rather than publishing your videos on your YouTube channel, mark them as unlisted, so they're only available to view in the course pages of your website. Now this solution isn't perfect as your videos can still be viewed outside of the course if someone has the URL, but it's suitable for getting started, especially if you're offering the course as a free incentive to subscribe to your email list as I did. So there we have it. That is how to make money blogging on Wix through advertising, affiliate products, and ultimately by creating and selling your own info products. If you're new to blogging, I highly recommend having a look at my how to create a free blog on Wix tutorial. And if you're ready to make the jump, you may want to check out my guide to upgrading your Wix account. Visit my website for lots more tips on Wix and all your favorite applications. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.